reading the time observe the face of the clock the face of the clock is marked with numerals 1 to 12 the clock has two hands one hand is long and the other is short the long hand is the minute hand it shows minutes the short hand is the hour hand and it shows hours when the minute hand is at 12 the hour hand tells the hour of the day hand of the clock is at 3 the long hand of the clock is at 12 so the time is 3 o'clock we write it as 3 colon 00 after 1 hour in this clock the hour hand is at 4 the minute hand is at 12 so the time is 4 o'clock tick the correct clock this clock shows 3 o'clock after 1 hour it will be 4 o'clock this clock shows 8 o'clock after 2 hours it will be 10 o'clock this shows 9 o'clock after 3 hours it will be 12 o'clock shows 2 o'clock before 2 hours it was 12 o'clock this shows 4 o'clock before 1 hour it was 3 o'clock this shows 12 o'clock before 3 hours it was 9 o'clock tell the time and write your answer in the box 10 o'clock 6 o'clock 9 o'clock 4 o'clock 3 o'clock 7 o'clock draw the hands in these clocks for the given time 9 o'clock the short hand will point to 9 and the long hand will point to 12 7 o'clock the short hand points to 7 the long hand to 12 12 o'clock both the long and the short hands will point to 12 2 o'clock short hand will point to 2 and the long hand to 12 4 o'clock short hand to 4 and the long hand to 12 8 o'clock short hand to 8 and the long hand to 12 hands in the clocks to show the time as given 330 will have the long hand pointing to 6 and the short hand between 3 and 4 945 both the hands will point to 9 1115 the short hand to 11 and the long hand to 3 1220 the short hand to 12 and the long hand to 
count in steps of 5 minutes and write the time. This shows 9.10. This one 9.15. This one 9.20. 9 9 30 9 Tell the time in the clock and write your answer in the box. This clock shows 4.30. This one 6.15. This 7.45. And this one 10.10. 10. Digital clock. This is an analog clock and this is a digital clock. What do you observe? In digital clock, there is no minute hand and hour hand. It shows only the hours and minutes as numbers. Mark the time in the digital clock. 3 colon 0 0 0 6 colon 30 0 7 colon 45 Draw the hands of these clocks to show the time given in the digital clocks. 0, 08 colon 00, zero will have the short hand pointing to 8 and the long hand pointing to 12. 11 colon 45 will have the short hand pointing to between 11 and 12 and the long hand pointing to 9. 0, 09 colon 30 This will have the short hand pointing to between 9 and 10 and the long hand pointing to 6 Look at these pictures What do you observe The time is 9 o'clock by this clock The long hand is at 1 so the time is 9.5. Worksheet In a year, there are 12 months. In a leap year, February has 29 days. 2013 is not a leap year. The shorter hand in a clock is the hour hand. Write down the time as shown by this clock. The time is 4.30. Draw the hands on this clock for the given time. 12.15 The shorter hand points to 12 and the longer hand to 3. Write down AM or PM. Sachin plays cricket in the evening at 4 p.m. The sun rises at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Write your date of birth. 15-8-2005 The leap year comes once in four years. What is Gandhiji's date of birth? 2nd October 
1869. It is written as 02 10 1869. One day equal to 24 hours. 12 hours from 12 midnight to 12 noon and the next 12 hours from 12 noon to 12 midnight. The time between 12 midnight and 12 noon is denoted by AM. The time between 12 noon and 12 midnight is denoted by PM. It is neither AM nor PM at 12 midnight or at 12 noon. Write the time with AM or PM for your daily activities. You wake up at 6.30 AM. You brush your teeth at 6.40 AM. Breakfast at 7 a.m. Go to school at 7.30 a.m. Lunch break at 11 a.m. Playtime at 4 p.m. Watching TV at 5 p.m. Dinner at 8 p.m. Doing homework at 6 p.m. Retiring to bed at 9 p.m. Write a.m. or p.m. suitably to the events that you see here. Breakfast at 7.45 a.m. Lunch break at school at 12.15 p.m. Karate class in the school at 3.30 p.m. Morning prayer in the school at 8.30 a.m. School gets over at 4 p.m. Sun rises at 5 a.m. The sun sets at 6 p.m. Night 11.35 p.m. Night 2.30 a.m. Afternoon 1.30 p.m. One week is equal to seven days. One month is equal to 30 days. One year is equal to 365 days. Fill in the blanks. A year has 365 days. In a week, there are seven days. Sunday is the first day of the week. Twelve months are one year. The first month of the year is January. Reading the calendar. A calendar shows the days, weeks and months of a particular year. The days from 1st January to 31st December of a year is called a calendar year. There are two types of calendar. Daily calendar, monthly calendar. This is the monthly calendar of 2013. This is the calendar for 2013. Read the calendar and fill in the blanks. Seven months have 31 days. Four months 
have 30 days. November has 30 days. There are four weeks in the month of February. December is the last month of the year. June is the sixth month of the year. In the month of May, you get your summer holidays. The month of August has 31 days. July comes between June and August. The month that starts with the letter F is February. Picture of hand, the knuckle trick. It is an easy way to remember the days in every month. Now look at these monthly calendars. February 2013 has 28 days. But February 2012 had 29 days. Why is this? Because 2012 is the leap year. A leap year comes once in four years. And in a leap year, February will have 29 days. Calendar and fill in the boxes. Number of days in January 2013 is 31. The number of Sundays, 4. The number of holidays, 8. January 14th is a Monday. Republic Day is on the 26th Sunday. On which day does the year begin? On Tuesday. Look at the calendar for 2013 and fill in the boxes. Teacher's Day is on 5th September and it is a Thursday. Independence Day is on 15th August and that is a Thursday too. Republic Day was on the 26th January and it was a Sunday. Gandhi Jayanti is on 2nd October, a Wednesday. Children's Day is on 14th November, a Thursday. Reading the Minute Look at the movement of the hands in a working clock. The minute hand is much faster than the hour hand. The minute hand crosses every small mark in the clock. There are 60 such small marks and each one is called a minute. The minute hand takes 5 minutes to go from one number to the next. The hour hand takes 60 minutes to go from one number to the next. So, one hour is equal to 60 minutes.